as I said earlier, we are have made a decision that we're going to solicit a partner to merge with. Um, and the rationale for why that is is really about the, the systems that we're working in in, in um, New York State right now. Um, we're moving to a new way of getting paid, a new way of providing services, a new way of um, <clears throat> folks getting care. And um, what we are finding out is that we need scale, we need volume. And I think on our Saturday meeting, I think a lot of what our discussion was about was people talking about the change in, in the, the healthcare systems that we all experience. But for us, the reality is um, it's not a surprise for any of you who um, are receiving services from us that um, uh, we have issues with our, our revenue, our rates. Um, we have had consistently low rates and um, the rates were due to change July 1 of 2019 and they did. The problem is that we didn't know what they changed to until late November. So not just us but across the state we weren't informed of what that was. So we've had consistent issues over the last couple of years with revenue. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. The biggest reason is that our rates were low. We haven't gotten increases in the state, with the exception of the Be Fair to Direct Care um, that has, has happened, which is a good thing. But as you all know, um, probably your costs have increased to maintain your home and to buy food and to all of that has increased for us, but our rates have not changed. So we have been struggling with keeping up with all of that, keeping the houses maintained, um, and, and most problematically, we've had staff turnover like everybody else has. So we were waiting for those rates to come in, and we were excited um, <clears throat> because when we found out what our rates were, um, they were as, <clears throat> pardon me, they were as pr we expected, they did increase, and that's a good thing. So um, we were pleased, but the reality of the situation is that those rates, we were told, are only good until June 30th. And what we're understanding, based on what we're hearing across New York State from the Office of, of um, OPWDD, Office of People with Developmental Disabilities, I keep, I, I used the acronym this weekend and one of the parents said, please don't do that, so I'm really gonna try not do that, so if you can catch me and remind me to stop. Um, our regulatory body, um, they have said that there's likely to be cuts across the state effective July 1 of this coming year. So when we looked at that, we said, we really recognize we need to do something different. We need to do um, something to ensure our services are not just preserved, but enhanced, and that we do something in terms of the agency. So that's why we think we need a merger partner.